Today we're checking out this deep cool matrix 55 case, which would honestly be worth it if the price was doubled. Seriously, you don't even have to watch this whole review if you take my word for it. But if you do want to watch, let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna be checking out this Deep Cool Matrix 55 case, which I still cannot believe it only costs 40 bucks. And if you're new here and you wanna see more case reviews or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this thing out. The Matrix 55 is a mid tower size case that rocks a huge tempered glass side panel, a tempered glass front panel, and even an RGB strip on the front. The tempered glass on both the front and side is a fully specced four millimeter thickness, meaning it's not some cheap knockoff trying to look good. And oh man, this thing does look good for just 40 bucks. On top of the case moving from left to right is a single USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, an audio and microphone port, reset button, LED button to control the RGB strip and the power button. Right behind that is a huge removable magnetic dust cover, which is absolutely perfect for keeping the dust out. And there's even one on the bottom to protect the power supply as well. Moving on to cooling options, there's actually a plethora of different configurations that you can do with the Matrix 55. And if you can afford it, then I would definitely recommend the Deepcool RF120 RGB fans because these look baller. On the front panel of the case are some decently sized air vents for the front fans to pull. Usually in cases like this, the air vents are tiny and almost pointless, but these are actually solid. You can fit a 120, 240, or even 360 millimeter radiator up there at the front. You can fit a 120, 140, or 240 on the top, and the back has room for a single 120 millimeter radiator or fan. For GPU compatibility, you can fit any card up to 370 millimeters, which is obviously huge. I had no problems getting this beefy RX 580 in there. Underneath the graphics card, you'll find a two slot hard drive bay, which is a simple single screw system for quickly inserting and removing them. Apparently there's also a GPU power bridge that you can put on top of there to hide the GPU power cable, but I think you have to buy that separately. And finally, with all the specs out of the way, I just wanna reiterate the fact that I can't believe this thing costs $40. There are a couple downfalls, which I'll explain in just a bit, but overall, the case just feels super sturdy. There's no cheap sharp edges or anything like that. And the case just feels like it's worth way more money than the price would suggest. I also really appreciate how Deepcool kept their RGB standards the same throughout their products. This Matrix 55 case, the Gamax CPU cooler, and the RF120 case fans all use the exact same cabling system for the RGB, so it's really easy to tie them all together. You can control the RGB with your motherboard software if your motherboard has a built-in RGB port, or you can hide this button in your case somewhere and control all of the RGB with that. The two downfalls that I do want to mention before wrapping up this video is that I definitely wish there was a power supply shroud. Having to hide all of the power supply cables will be a nightmare if you don't have a modular PSU, and I also wish they blacked out the HD audio and USB cables from the front panel. They're a super ugly green color that kind of throws off the cleanness of the build. Both of these downfalls would definitely have jacked the price up for this case, so I do understand why these features are lacking. Overall, if you're looking for a great case under 50 bucks, then I would honestly look no further than the Deep Cool Matrix 55. Be on the lookout for future builds on the channel because I'll definitely be building in here a couple of more times. Well, that wraps up my review of the Deep Cool Matrix 55 case. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because next week, I'm gonna show you what's all in this build. You don't wanna miss that video.